Hello everybody, GWR are back again, and today I'll be reviewing the brand new Trackmaster 75th Anniversary Celebration Thomas. Now, oh boy, have I been excited for these. Um, they're basically, you know, Steam Team characters, but look at that. You see something there? Yeah, they are metallic. Like Merlin the Invisible kind of metallic. Holy crap, am I excited. And they come with this little storybook. I don't care about that. I just care about everything you see here. And you can see, you know, it looks, it's, it's a big box for what you get. But, I remember, um, I'm pretty sure they were originally 20 bucks, but they dropped them to $16.99, so $17. So yeah, um, I've been hyped for these since the day I saw them. Like, for a long time. And I'm glad to finally get my hands on Thomas. So I went to Target today. My sister was accompanying me, or I was accompanying her, or whatever. And she got me this, because, you know, I've been doing good in school and all that fun stuff. So it was a little gift for me. And I, I really appreciate it. So shout out to my sister. She's awesome. And she made this review and this item in my possession possible. So yeah, um, when I went to Target... They they had Thomas and Nia. They only had one of each, and wow, was I excited when I saw them. My sister can back me up on that one. I gasped, and I was just I was so surprised. And I am ready to get into this. So let's take a look at the packaging. So here we can see that it's a pretty big box. Like here's my handprint compared to the box. It is much bigger than my hand. And it's got the big Thomas and Friends Trackmaster logo up here. It's got the book in the back, which I would have never known that was a book if I hadn't, like, known it beforehand. I would have thought it was just a cool picture or, like, a, a, a piece of cardboard with Thomas on it that you got exclusively. But as well as that, here's the coolest part, in my opinion. You get a little 75 there with a Thomas on it. And this is the logo that they're using for all the 75th anniversary products including the minis. So, yeah. Um, you can see Thomas is in a clear bubble plastic thing, and so is his little van. And that little bubble of plastic is surrounded by an even bigger thing of plastic. So, yeah, it's clear plastic, so at least you can see all what you're getting. So, that's nice. You can see Celebration Thomas, trademark, and Storybook Bolt. So, yeah. Um, motorized engines, ages 3 to 7. I really miss when it was ages 3 and up. I don't know why, it's just... Ages 3 to 7 is such a specific little... You know... It, it, gap. For kids to play with Trackmaster. I mean, of course, you don't have to follow the rules by law or anything, but... You get what I'm trying to say. It should be uh, 3 and up. But here on the side, you can see... Chumash, Nair, and Pershing. And over here it just says Celebration Thomas and Storybook. On the back, you can see it looks super cool. And you got uh, Mr. Handsome Dad over here, and he's reading the storybook to his son. Presumably. I, I don't know if this is father and son. It probably is, but who knows. So you can see other up here in the top right is Celebration Percy, Celebration Near, and Celebration Jamison. So yeah, amazing. I love these so much. I haven't seen anyone get James yet. I've never seen a James, Celebration James, in my life. However, I saw Nia at Target, and I haven't seen Percy in real life. But I know Train Star Fun got a Percy, as well as Nia. So, and Thomas, but whatever. Um, man, I, I wish I could get Nia as well. She did look pretty... The only thing I don't like, and this could be safer for review if I do ever get her, is that she doesn't have her black buffers which her original Nia toy does. So let's read the bio. Get little imaginations rolling with a story about Thomas and his friends on the Steam Team. Then create your adventure-filled story with Trackmaster Motorola's engines. Delicious. All right. Good, good stuff. So yeah, it's pretty generic, and it doesn't talk about Thomas as a character or his history. But, um... And I know the storybook inside doesn't do that either. So it's really 
silly to me that they don't talk about Thomas's history on this or anything like that. I mean, I could understand it. Like, imagine if it was Thomas's history on here. Like, Thomas came to Sodor in 1915. He was originally LBSC and green, and then he got painted blue and worked happily on the Northwestern. Something like that. And then on Percy, which it, it would say, like, Percy came to Northwestern as a shunter, blah, 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 and he took a plunge in the water and blah, 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 and yeah, and now he's a really useful engine. Nia would say she's garbage, and James would just say, you know, he's he, he's a jerk. But yeah, I mean, it would be cool if we had that in, like, the storybooks or the back of the box or something, but no, it's it's just generic. It's just boring. But if I ever have to use a word to describe something that's boring ever again, I'm going to use the bio on the Thomas and Friends 75th Anniversary Celebration Thomas and Storybook Pack. That's the exact term I'm going to use. So yeah, motorized engine, Fisher-Price. Let's just skip off through all this packaging and let's get right into it, shall we? I'm really excited to see this, Thomas. Wow. I mean, just wow. <laughs> Look at this. Look at how beautiful this is. This is what I want from a 75th anniversary for Thomas and Friends. This is what I want for any anniversary of Thomas and Friends. Just look at this. It's so shiny. Look, you can see my thumb and the reflection. You can see probably the camera and the reflection, too. Yeah, I can see the camera and the reflection. Holy crap. And Thomas has got the little white dots in his eyes like they've been doing on Thomas and Friends Wood. Um, even his sticker is all shiny and glossy. This is amazing. I love this. Sadly, his wheels aren't shiny metallic. They're just regular blue, which is kind of kind of throws you off. But, I mean, in real life, it doesn't look as bad as it does on camera. So, yeah, he's got the generic stock standard face, which kind of sucks. It'd be nice to get something a little bit different. Also, the dots in the eyes aren't exclusive. Those They're doing that on all Trackmaster models from now on, from what I can tell. They're doing it on Thomas and Percy, at least. I've seen it in stores. And then you can see, look at that shine. Look at that! Oh, my gosh! This is so cool. Okay. So, you can see... Even on, like, here, it, on, on his cab, like, you can see some little blue lines coming through it. So clearly this is just a printed little thing on his cab roof. But that does kind of bother me if there's some blue lines showing through, but whatever. Um, the back is as plain as ever. Um, this is where you can really see the camera. <laughs> and there's me, hello. Um, yeah, it's a generic chassis, nothing really special there. Thomas looks really good. Now on to the van. This van is a generic, regular 2019-2020 van. And you can tell it looks pretty freaking good. They could have just made this a generic normal van like all the others, but they made it shiny as well. And by when I said it was just a generic van, I meant like the mold. It's just the same as any generic piece of rolling stock but you can see it is shiny as well and it's about just as shiny as, yeah it's just as shiny as chumash look at that the only thing i don't like is of course as usual geared wheels but something i noticed about these wheels is look there's no holes in them now all the time trackmaster has these wheels with these these holes in them and it bothers me so much it has always bothered me and it's been it's been going on since like 2012 or something but this van is one of the is like the first Trackmaster item I've ever seen that doesn't have holes in the wheels, which is interesting and weird, and I don't understand it. But whatever, it, it, it's good nonetheless. The only thing I don't like is the fact that it has the stupid, you know, peg sticking out. It has the the gear wheels. It really bothers me. It just looks ridiculous. You know, the wheels should look like this. It shouldn't look like that. It, it, it's supposed to look like this. But yeah, I mean, I hate also this dummy coupling on the back that they're doing with Trackmaster now. Soon enough, it's going to be on Thomas and Percy and Gordon and Edward as well, if they even make Edward anymore. Yeah, it's... I hate it. It's, it's so... Blech. And it restricts playability because they can't go around tight curves anymore, I don't think. But whatever. That's just bad stuff with Trackmaster as a range. There's a, just so many good things I can say about this as a toy by itself so let me get some batteries and chumash and let's see um 
what he looks like on the inside and how he runs and stuff. So yeah, let's let, let's do this. Okay, so here's just a quick little tidbit. Um, this is Thomas without his chassis. There, there's his chassis over there. And basically, it, it just looks like average Thomas, but on the inside, look at that. It's like a, it's it's like Merlin. It's a silver, shiny, metal-looking material. I mean, this, this entire, I should mention, this entire thing is plastic, like a regular Trackmaster engine. But it just looks shiny, metallic. So you can see there's the production codes and whatnot, and yeah, it's, it's, it's all silver on the inside, which is interesting. And then his chassis is regular Thomas Edward Gordon chassis. Yeah, although his his switch is very stiff, I've noticed his switch is extraordinarily stiff. But whatever. Um, let's just get the batteries in, and we'll um, we'll uh, dance around and have a super happy fun time partyville. Yeah, uh, Thomas and Brand's doing big adventures. Let's just do this. Okay, so here is Thomas running and looking beautiful. These aren't like full batteries. These are ones I reused from Nia, normal Nia. Yeah, same old regular Trackmaster 2 action. So, let me just take this van, and this is so hard to do with just one hand, but yeah, you can hook them up, and you get the point. Thomas runs around, and he, he you know, does his thing. And you know what this Thomas reminds me of is another product for the 75th anniversary. This little Minis Thomas. Oh, he, he's rolling away. This little Minis Thomas. Um, you can see he is also painted all metallic -y or printed all metallic -y or something like that. And he is a delicious model. He's very delicious. Very good. Yeah, 75 on the top. Luckily, this Thomas doesn't have a 75 on the top. It would kind of ruin it, in my opinion. I don't know why. I just wouldn't like that extra detail. But, yeah, I mean... It, this mini looks really cool. I love this mini. And it was my first one I got from the 2020 wave. I did not know which codes went for which specific engines, if they even have the codes anymore, because I couldn't find them. But yeah, this is Chumash. And this is bigger Chumash. So yeah, father and son, 75th anniversary, special, special. But yeah, so what are my overall thoughts on, like, the price and the value and all that fun stuff? So... Maybe you're wondering why I didn't go over this book pamphlet thing first. It's because it's boring and generic, and it just says, Hi, I'm Thomas. I'm part of the Steam team on the Iron of Sodor, and I, I'm a useful engine, blah, blah, blah. It's only like three pages long, so. Eh. As for Chumash, I love this. For $16, $17, this, this isn't so bad. I mean, I would have preferred $15 or $14, but... Because the average Trackmaster engine with just this... And this is ten bucks. Ten bucks for this. And I I think that's a good value. I think that's a really good value. I just think if the stupid book wasn't included and the packaging was made a bit smaller but still had the 75 on it, then it could be sold for, you know, 15 bucks, 14. But yeah, I mean, I'm satisfied with what, with what we've gotten. Thomas looks pretty good. And the, the van looks pretty good as well. So yeah, I mean, hopefully more reviews on these will come. Because I love these a lot. They are worth it in my opinion. I think these are really good toys. And I think you should definitely go out and try and get them. But yeah, that's about it. Um, That is my review on the 75th anniversary Celebration Thomas with Storybook. You know, the storybook I didn't look at, but whatever. Um, goodbye, everybody. I oh, really hate children. I know, Thomas, I know. Alright, goodbye, everybody. This is GW Oliver, signing out.